21B14 deals with recertification, or basically when you have a student who's been eligible in the fall and you're seeking to determine if they're still eligible to compete moving forward into the spring. So currently under the NAIA regulations, you would have 30 days to determine if that student is eligible. So get the grades in, um, time to get any transcripts if the student has taken school or taken hours at other institutions, and basically make that decision related to if they have uh, continued their eligibility or not. And you have this 30-day window in which while you don't yet know if they're eligible, they're able to continue competing. There is current language in that that, that says if you have determined the student to be ineligible at any point during that 30 days, the point at which you determine that they are ineligible, that student needs to stop competing immediately. What this proposal does is it just seeks to clarify that language, knowing that in the past there has been some ambiguity of how does this apply and when does it apply? What does it mean to declare a student ineligible? So under this proposal, there's some clarification language related to any point in time at which you not just declare the student, meaning to some people that would mean put them on an eligibility certificate or, or complete the rest of your eligibility certificate for the team. But by changing that word from a declare to discover, it's any point in time at which you realize that they are going to be ineligible, you need to stop that student from continuing to compete any further. It also talks through or goes through the process of relying on the eligibility certificate process and stating that when you are going through that process and determining students, all of your students' eligibility, that's what we would rely on for that time period. So again, this is not a large substantive change, it's more of a clarification over how that existing rule should apply.